Steam locomotives need lights to illuminate tracks at night, warn others of their approach, and signal their operations. While trains today use modern electrical systems, how did steam locomotives power their lights? The first locomotives simply used oil lamps mounted on their smoke box or running board. But as technology advanced, engineers developed a more effective solution, electric lighting powered by the locomotive itself. Electrical power provided a more effective way to see at night than just burning oil with the use of arc lamps. An engine makes plenty of steam in its boiler, not only enough to move the wheels, but also to create electricity. This is done by using a turbo generator or dynamo, which sits on top of the boiler. This device converts the kinetic energy of high pressure steam into electrical power. What may appear to be steam leaking from the top of the boiler is actually the generator at work releasing used steam after it powers the turbine. The boiler diverts some of its high pressure steam to the dynamo, where it hits small turbine blades. These blades spin a drive shaft connected to magnets with an alternator. Inside the alternator is a collection of coiled wire. As the magnets spin, they create an electromagnetic field, generating an alternating current within the wires. The generator sends electricity through wires along the boiler's sides. They run to the front through either the handrails or separate insulated tubes, depending on the type of engine. They then connect to other parts of the locomotive, giving power to the headlights, cab equipment, radio communications, and other electrical systems. Although today, modern trains no longer use steam generators, instead engines have diesel electric generators, or draw power directly from overhead lines. However, they still follow the same basic idea. The engine serves as a power plant to create electricity for all the onboard equipment and lights to see into the night.